Hey loves, welcome to the channel. It's me, Danella. So as you can see from the title of this week's video, we are doing a mini holiday prep slash errands day kind of video because this weekend, me and the family, we are going about lanes. So I just thought it would be good to bring you guys along with me to get things done. Speaking about holiday, guys, if you're someone that is very much intrigued by different cultures and you're a big foodie, you like just tasting different cultures, see what they have to offer, like what different countries have to offer and stuff like that, then I have the perfect subscription service for you and that is offered by Snack Surprise. So with Snack Surprise, each month you'll get a snack box containing 10 plus full size packages. So this month I got the June subscription and that was from Bulgaria. Guys, I've never thought to like try a Bulgaria snack before but seeing these I'm very much intrigued. So the box I have is the original box. I should point out as well that there is three different options so they're working with your budget. So there is the middle box, the original box and then there is the premium box. So the original box is a combination of the mini box and a few more items and then the premium box is just the mini box and the original box with additional items as well so you're leveling up as you increase your subscription so yeah guys this is what the packaging is looking like how cute is this tell me this not cute it's so like so playful and i think like this is something that you could easily Get your kids involved with like just get them into a fun little thing to do as a family so let me show you guys what's inside the bulgaria packaging so if you guys have no idea what exactly it is as well there's also the little booklet that just explains each item and what it is really so here we have this one and it says it's a zoyo boyo paprika so is would that be similar to like a cheetahs uh yeah i think this kind of sounds like it would be similar to a cheetah so we'll see because today whilst i'm on the road i just bring a few of them along with me and just give you guys a little summary of each snack and then we also have this medenka which is, is a extremely popular cake biscuit in Bulgaria. So I'm going to bring this one with me, guys. I'm going to bring this one with me. I love a bit of chocolate, so this will be a good little snack to have on the road. And also they have a drink. So after eating all this snack, you can just wash it down with a nice soft drink. And this one is called the Party Drink Lemonada okay and it's basically just a lemon fizzy drink so yeah guys if you guys are interested in this subscription service just check out the description box below all the details that you need will be in there so thanks to snack surprise for providing me with this amazing service so let's get into the rest of the video and I'll see you guys when I'm on their road. So, bye for now. Now you crash your Ferrari for Lady Bonner. Now so much you make with that pain all over. 
I feel it's the best swing like Django Lover I feel it's the best swing like Tip Tip Tim Balika Churu a Churu I'm a white dog in Fenisu Why you say I did not if I do when If I do anything you want me to do Tim Balika Churu a Churu I'm a white dog in Fenisu Why you say I did not if I do when If I do anything you want me to do Maybe another time, maybe another life You will be my wife and we'll get it right Hi guys, hopefully you can hear me about Sorry that I haven't spoken to you guys like since I left the whole spot at 8 in the park apartment to get my nails done and I reached there late so I had to reach the door by 6 o'clock and then we just made our way to Big Tokyo because Ricky got us two tickets to go first on so yeah yeah, I think that's the name of it. Heard on the cinema, so we just went and got out. Yeah, we just went and see Minion 2. That was really good. Darling enjoyed it, but you guys know, Darling is a bit out there, so I had to keep saying, Oh, Darling, calm down, Darling, calm down. But yeah, we're now at the restaurant. Pasta. You're not getting a pasta, Danny. You're getting a pizza. No, I said pasta. Pizza. Pasta. Okay, we should have one. <laughs> yeah. So, for mine, I only had the popcorn because I'm trying to do the intermittent fasting. So, no, I'm just going to have the Caesar salad. So, when that comes, I'll just show you guys what that's looking like. So, yeah. After this, I need to go and I try and get swimwear because I don't have any swimwear. So I need to get that because we're going to place tomorrow. So that's a must. And I'm going to be back home to get one of these dogs. Mommy, where's the food? Yeah. What are you talking about? So much to say earlier. Okay. Mommy, I turn around. You can't shut up us. So yeah, when the food comes, I'll show you guys what that's looking like. So yeah, speak to you then. My life Yeah, you have to wait until it cool a bit, Danry. Like, he wants to go and sleep, but yeah. I'm gonna go and go to sleep. I wanna watch my tablet. Tablet, it's not tablet time. Yes, it is. Anyways, we're going to leave right now and try and catch the 24 bus and go to Oxford Street. I just remember, like, I probably should take um check out TK Maxx as well because I see everyone passing in TK Maxx. I'm like, you know what? It's been a while since I've been in TK Maxx. So that's probably where I should go. So yeah, let's go because I need two shards. Two shards and a swimsuit. Guys, am I the only one that wasn't aware of like this little hidden restaurant section <laughs> across from Victoria Station? Like, that ain't stop. It has Nanda's. Yeah, that's the one we came up to just now. Bills, um, Waka Mama. Like, Everything is right around the corner here, and I wasn't aware of it, so yeah. It's, oh, what's this? That? Oh, that mate, they said no sitting, no sitting, don't sit on it, baby. Wait, let's do it. Wait, let's do it. I have no idea. What does it say? Who's in here? Has one. 
Okay. All right, come on. Hi right, guys. So that's the little entrance that we came when they came back from the cinema. So we just walked up and came up this path, and turns out it's a little restaurant section. So yeah, going back over to Victoria. Not Victoria Station, but over that side to get the 24 to go after street now. So let's go. today video didn't really turn out how I expected it to be because usually you know when I'm doing my shopping videos I used to bring you guys around she was in store and was I'm actually picking up but today just busy like everywhere is just like rammed so like there was no opportunity for me to set up anything in the store I set up my camera or like doing different angles and stuff like that now so yeah that's the situation with today but i did pick up a few bits from sainsbury's and accessories case to be honest i went primark but the queue in primark was just ridiculous on all floors it was just like doing a maze so i'm like no i can't i can't i can't be doing this today so yeah i had to leave there but i went accessories and tell me what are you doing I picked up this gorgeous swimsuit so it's a one piece but I just fell in love with the color and then the material of it so this one says it has hidden support and I can definitely see how it will work because with this one the material on it it just seems as though it will just flatten you out so if you have a little full paw you have a little you know extra fluff going on this one something like this will definitely work for you because like they had a few in primark but it was just cloud no support no boob support no nothing whatsoever everything just left 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 out like that so i'm like no i wasn't feeling that so i'm happy that i finally found a gold swimsuit because i did pick up one in mark and spencer this week as well and i'll have to return it because the boob <laughs> bit the material is nice but the boob bit it wasn't the right size so i got a size, size 12 but the boob bit was just like squeezing me so that was a no-no and then from sainsbury's because guys when i came back i'm like you know what let me just leave this close bit alone i'm just going to work with what i have but then ricky came and got done with Danny did his trim he got a trim and then i did my nails so speaking about the nails like i went for a little nude pink instead of the white and i instantly regretted it but like it was too far in for me to like tell them to like change the color so i just have to stick with it because i don't know the white just have a little look about it the pink i don't know if it's the first i'm doing it in a long while that's why i'm a bit mm. but yeah I need to stick to my white. The white just make everything. It just looks so vibrant, and as you look, you can see like, yeah, you got your nails done. The pink is like calm. But anyways, lesson learned. So from Sainsbury's, I got these Bermuda shorts. To be honest, it's slightly longer than what I wanted initially, but I don't have no other option and this one was for 16 pounds so not bad and it's also 100 percent pure <laughs> cotton so good material and it's not that stiff cotton you know some of them stiff and it's not that flexible 
this one isn't and I got it in a size 14 and it's very much true to size it's not too snug or anything like that so yeah happy with this purchase and also I got this what do you call this a cargo shorts so I also got this cargo shorts in a size 14 as well um to be honest the material on this is thin it's thin I'm not really sure it's worth 10 pounds but I'm like if I don't wear it when I go about lanes I'm going to bring it back because I don't know I have uh, one from Primark which is like the same style no it's the one from Primark is a paper bag but same color it's just that it's slightly snug on me so I'm like oh I didn't want it to be too snug and then I also got this white crew neck top I'm always picking up white tops because they're basically my go to like any little errand I'm doing I'm always in like some form of t-shirt so yeah that's it for the shopping bit and speaking about snack surprise going back to the old snack surprise bit that I mentioned earlier in the video we basically like tried the majority of the snacks so this is what we have left back um let me talk about my fit oh this came out yeah because I was having this earlier this is basically my favorite item from the snack box and it's just <laughs> this soft cake so this one and the mucky it's just giving you all the banana flavors. Don't look like it as well, but like I had to stop him from eating it. Because I'm like, oh, I need to show them. I need to show them. Wait. So, yeah. Wait. All right. all right, calm down. Okay. So, yeah, this is definitely my favorite from the old snack box. It has a really nice banana flavor to it. At first, I was, I was thinking, like, oh, it's going to be like a banana cake or something along that line. But the texture is completely different and then it has this <laughs> filling inside i don't know if you guys can see yeah it has a little lining of jam what do you call that jam so but guys really nice delicious. i wish i could just like buy a couple more of these to have around the house like whenever you feel like something to munch on or definitely love this one so yeah as i said at the beginning of the video if you guys are interested in snack surprise and want to experience different culture their food snacks and stuff like that each month then the information do you want the rest of this one this, you can have it this mucking was false yeah you don't want to bite the head and I on my ears. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you guys are interested in a snack surprise and you want to check them Nana. out, the information will be in my description Nana. box. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Hope you enjoy. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> so bye for now and take care. Bye.